Hallelujah. Happy New Month to everybody. We are extremely grateful to the Almighty God for the grace He has given us to see the first Sunday in the sixth month, 1821, and to Him alone be praised in Jesus' name. And today, by the grace of God, we will be dealing with a very important topic, um, as usual. And our topic today is Talk Back at the Devil. Talk Back at the Devil. And our text are taken from the book of 1 Samuel chapter 17, from verse 40 to 54, and Matthew chapter 4, verse 1 to 11. 1 Samuel chapter 17, from verse 40 to 54, and Matthew chapter 4, from verse 1 to 11. Let us pray. As a Lord we want to appreciate you for the gift of life. Thank you for counting us to be among those that will see the first Sunday in the month of June, year 2021. We thank you for this privilege. Glory be to your name in Jesus' name. We pray, O oh God, that as we go into this discussion, Lord, you will bless us mightily in Jesus' name. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Um, like we all know, that life itself um, is full of contests. Um, people fight battles. Spiritual battles, physical battles, economic battles, you know, different kind of challenges that human being face. Uh, but then there's something that we all will agree with, and that's the fact that there are some things that we can use to know um, the winning side. There are some parameters we can use to know the winning sides. And generally, people have believed that the winning side is the shouting side or the talking side. That means when we have, um, for instance, when we have two people fighting, and one of them is the one bragging, the one shouting the one jumping around and they believe that that person might likely be the winner um but sadly enough many of us as christians we most times allow the devil to do the talking you know most times we see the devil speaking some negative things to our ears to our thoughts and um, sometimes the devil will threaten us and tell us negative things that may likely happen to us and uh, but then as christians some of many, many times we we just accept those things without doing anything. And so today, by the grace of God, we want to understand the need, the importance of us as Christians to talk back at the devil whenever he brings his evil suggestions, his evil thoughts, and then his threats. And God of heaven will help us as we proceed in Jesus' name. At the same time, we also need to understand that the Bible makes us understand in the book of Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23, that as Christians, we need to guard our heart with all diligence. So as we proceed, God Lord will help us all in Jesus' name. But to do this, I will be using two major um, two key examples um, looking at the life of David and that of our Lord Jesus Christ. Um, for David, um, we can see the, you can go to the text that's first Samuel chapter 17, verse 40 to 54. And David um, in question is just a very young man, and then he if he found himself, you know, he had to face Goliath. Goliath at that time was a giant. He was someone that, you know, has led uh, the Philistines army for a long, long time. But David, maybe David just came from nowhere. He was just a very small, a very small young man. And then he confronted Goliath. And then he was so sure of the God that he was serving. But then two things will pick out from, you know, what happened between them. We say that Goliath, you know, representing the devil in this case, he used all that he had, you know, number one, to threaten him, to tell him what will happen to David. Uh, but then David did what God expects you and I. David did what God expects us as Christians to do. David responded. Uh, I'd like us to understand this text um, by reading um, Goliath's prayer. We can say that in 1 Samuel chapter 17, from verse 43 to 44. I'll read from here. And that's from New King James Version. It says, So the Philistines said to David, Am I a dog that you come to me with sticks? And the Philistine caused David by his gods. And the Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I will give your flesh to the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. And then if you look at it critically, you see that um, Goliath only used two verses, you know, that's verse 43 and 44, you know, to challenge the God of David, to mock him, you know, to, to say lots of things against David. But then David, in response, you know, understanding the importance of us talking back at the devil, you know, he used three verses to respond back to Goliath. And we can see that in verse 45 to verse 47. And I'll read from here again. It says, Then David said to the Philistine, You come to me with a sword, with a spear, and with a javelin. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This day, the Lord will deliver you into my hand, and I will strike you and take your head from you. And this day I will give the carcasses of the camp of the Philistines to the pots of the air and the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. Then all this assembly shall know that the Lord does not save with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give 
you into our earth. Praise the Lord. No, that means that God will make us understand the book of Daniel that they that knew, know that God they shall be strong and what and do exploits. And so David in this case he understood the God he, he had a good understanding of the God he was serving and he knew that God is more than able to, de to de defend him. He also understood the God the power of the God of Israel and that was why he had the boldness you know to be able to confront Goliath. And then when the when the Goliath um, was ranting when he he gave the threat David responded back he talked back at Goliath and that is what God expects you and I. To do as Christians, whenever evil suggestions come, whenever evil thoughts comes, whenever the devil tries to manipulate our thoughts or threatens us of something even that may happen in the future, God expects us to stand and pray God will help us all in Jesus' name. And then coming back to our Lord Jesus Christ, um, when he was tempted by the devil, always a very popular um, um, text that Matthew chapter 4 from verse 1 to 11 and Bible make us understand that on three occasions the devil tried you know to bring the Lord Jesus Christ and he tempted the Lord Jesus Christ you know but then thank God for the word of God our Lord Jesus Christ was able to use the word it is written he used this this word it is written in verse 4 of that text verse 7 and verse 10 and eventually uh, the Lord Jesus you know had victory so, brothers and sisters, um, God wants us to understand that as Christians, or as long as we study in this world, the devil is never tired of bringing bad thoughts. He's never tired of bringing evil suggestions. He's never tired of threatening us of what you know the negative things that or the evil things that could happen tomorrow. The devil is never tired, particularly as the um as the world as nobody knows what will happen tomorrow in a different part of the world. You no, know, let us be strong as Christians to be able to stand and um, using the word of God. To overcome all the wives of the devil and i pray the lord will help us in jesus name and before we go we also want to emphasize the place of james chapter 4 verse 7b he says that we should encourage us to resist the devil because he will always flee from us. that means when you and i use the word of god when we are and I, you know, refuse to 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 listen to that suggestion. When you and I refuse to listen to to take the evil idea. When you and I refused, you know, to be threatened by the devil, then by the grace of God, the devil will flee from us, just as he did to our Lord Jesus Christ. And perhaps you are listening today, and you are yet to give your life to Jesus. I want to encourage you that the best time to do so is is now, because tomorrow might just be too late. And if you are there, you want to receive your Lord, your Lord Jesus as your Lord and Savior, please repeat after say, Lord Jesus, thank you because you are my God. Thank you because you came to die for my sins. I connect the fact that I am a sinner. Please forgive me all my sins and write my name in the book of life. Wash me with your blood. And when you come eventually to take the seat, please count me worthy. Help me to reign with you eternally. Thank you, everlasting Father. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. If you have said that prayer with us, I want to congratulate you for making the best decision anybody can ever make in life. I congratulate you for becoming born again. And then you still need to do some, some few things. Join a Bible believing church. Um, get the Bible if you don't have one. Uh, but then if you need one, you can contact us on the phone numbers on the last slide of this um, discussion. And then again, you can also contact us for any other thing that you need. And God of heaven will help us all in Jesus' name. And uh, so before we go finally, we would like to just pray this prayer. And the prayer is, Our dear Heavenly Father, please give us the boldness and divine strength to always resist the devil. Shall we pray? Father, we pray for the divine strength, the grace to be able to resist the devil when he brings his thoughts, when he brings evil suggestions. Give us the grace to stand and to stand in Jesus. Now, on the last day, let us remain standing and to retain the virtue that you have given us. Thank you, King of Glory, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. And we appreciate God for giving us again to see the first Sunday in the month of June and for this year 2021 and I pray that he that has seen us to this time will see us to the end in Jesus name and if you are yet to subscribe to our channel we want to encourage you to do so so that we cannot go together as second coming of Christ ambassadors and to meet again um, next week by the grace of the Lord Christ is coming we want to wish you all a very very wonderful week and a prosperous month thank you Lord God bless you